well, I'm in the middle of my Chapter 7 bankruptcy and now I've wrecked my car. What do I do? I'm going to answer that question for you in this video. Hi, I'm bankruptcy attorney Dan Scott and I help people resolve debt difficulties usually by filing a Chapter 7, a Chapter 11, or Chapter 13 case. So today the question I have is what happens when you uh, are in the middle of your Chapter 7 case and you wreck your car, what do you do? Now, the circumstances are going to make a difference as to whether you're going to keep your car or whether you're going to surrender it. If you're going to surrender the car, um, perhaps the thing to do is contact the creditor and just tell, tell the creditor, look, I've wrecked the car, the car's insured, and uh, how do you want to handle the claim and work through it that way? You're not in the obligation to have the car repaired. Um, you are under obligation if you're driving it though to have it insured. So um, certainly if you've got it insured, contact the creditor. I wouldn't go through the repair process itself uh, because you're gonna undertake some responsibilities if you do that. Plus you may have to pay the deductible. So if you're gonna surrender the car, that's the best way to do that. And you don't end up with a, a bunch of responsibility put on you. Now, if on the other hand, you're going to keep the car, then just go ahead and just uh, uh, proceed as if you weren't in a bankruptcy case because uh, I'm assuming you're, you're going to reaffirm the debt. That is, make a deal with the creditor to treat the debt as if um, you weren't in bankruptcy. And if that's the case, then what you want to do is go ahead and get the car repaired, use your insurance proceeds. Uh, that'll all pretty much work out. You'll have some deductible usually to pay. Um, and you'll have to pay that. There's not any way around it. And that way you get your car fixed and you re reaffirm the debt and you go on up the road. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, would you subscribe to our channel and then mash the bell. And if you do that, then I'll be able to let you know when we publish new videos. And we do that pretty much all the time. Thanks for watching.